Hello, my name is Jim Ward, and I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS PDM Technical Support Specialist with Go Engineer. In this video, I will be showing how to use a variable value in the output file name of a task. This method first became available in SOLIDWORKS PDM 2017 Service Pack 0. Uh, prior to that, the, the script had to be modified directly. Starting now, the PDM admin can specify a variable as part of the output file name when setting up or modifying the task. Here we are in the PDM administration tool, and we have the create PDF task screen open. And you notice there's the output file details I have selected, and this is where you can specify both a, a default path, and you can also specify a secondary path. In order to uh, use a variable, you simply select this right arrow, go down to variables, and choose which variable you want to use. However, before you do that, it's probably a good idea to copy that variable from the source file to the destination file. And the way you do that is down here, you click on add variable, you specify the source, uh, the, the variable on the source, and then you can also come down here and um, probably specify the same variable for the target, whatever makes sense to you. Then once you've done that, notice I've done that already for revision and description. Those are probably the only two that you want to uh, copy across, but whatever makes sense to you, whatever you want to see in your PDF would be a good idea to copy across. And once you've done that, come over to your output file details and select this right arrow. Now notice there is a source file revision. Now I do not recommend that you use this. The reason is the way that PDM handles revisions. When PDM assigns a revision, it assigns it to a particular version. And if anything happens and you move past that version and it doesn't match the version in which the revision was assigned, then as far as PDM is concerned, there is no revision on that file. And then when this is generated, you'll wind up with a blank like this on the end, dash, and then there's nothing because there's no revision to put there. However, if you come down and you select from the variables, if you select the variable that you're using for your revision, and in my case, I am using revision, then once you assign a value to the revision, it stays there until such time as you change it. And therefore, when you run this, it will generate the, the part, underscore, and then the revision will be at the end. Now, to show you what this looks like locally, an example. So here's one. So the, the name of the file was temp for hardware, and I ran this when it was at revision A. And you can notice here that it, it, there is indeed revision A, and I copied across um, the description as well. This has been Jim Ward with Go Engineer discussing how to use a variable in a task output file name. Thank you for watching.